this video, let's talk about everything with Descript's search features, how you can search for words, how you can search for sentences, and how you can search for highlights across your entire project. Let's jump into it. All right, what's up, everyone? Joey here. So we use Descript a lot for a variety of our projects. We've got a whole 15-minute overview video if you haven't used Descript. But if you dug into it and you're doing some bigger projects, bringing a bunch of clips in, or you have like a big bunch of podcast episodes in there, or maybe you're trying to do a compilation, one thing that you might want to do a lot is search across all of your video files that you've imported, all the transcripts. And you might want to search for it either for words or if you've gone through past episodes and maybe highlighted clips that you've marked up, you might want to just be able to search by highlight. Like, hey, show me everything that I highlighted green or show me everything that I highlighted yellow. So let's jump into it in this video of all of the ways that you can use Descript search features. So I'm in a project right now, and this project has a bunch of different interviews and videos and stuff that we shot at NAB. Check the whole playlist out, playlist out if you want to go watch all of these videios. So we've got this video here about Frame.io, the future of AI with Adobe's head of innovation. And here we've got our search bar. So by default, we click search or command F or control F. And let's just say I want to search for Adobe, which will definitely be mentioned in this video. The searches, we see all of our hits here. If we click on anything, Adobe's really... It'll audition just that section of wherever our search result is, which is really handy. So we could just quickly kind of click through and hear what it sounds like and see if that's what we're looking for. And by default, it will just be searching this composition. But if we click this gear icon or the settings icon and we come down here and we uncheck only current composition, it will now show us all of the hits of anything where Adobe's mentioned in all of the compositions in this project. It's not going to search for everything in our entire Descript library, but assuming you have all of your files in a single project, it'll show us everything that shows up for that project. And so if we just click on a different composition, and so in the case of Adobe Premiere Pro, and we could hear the hit of where that came from. And so this is super handy, especially when we started doing research projects or documentaries and it kind of involve going through a bunch of archival stuff. We'll bring all the clips in, get them transcribed, and then we can kind of just jump into the search and search for a variety of terms and kind of pull together the clips that we want based on the words. Now, normally when we're marking up stuff, we're going to be making highlights. And so let me jump back into the, uh, the Frame.io clip. So here we have highlights, the things that were kind of notable moments, things we wanted to pull in, either turn them into social media clips or kind of bring them in and create a video that's like a highlight reel of like good, cool moments from various interviews that happened at NAB. So let's say you just want to not search by word, but you want to be able to find everything that you highlighted across your project. So if we come back here to the search panel and just clear this out for Adobe, and we click the settings box and we go to filter by, here we'll be able to pick, okay, I just want to search everything that was either sand, what they call yellow highlights or whatever color we have, or just all highlights, anything that was highlighted regardless of the color to show me that. Um, we only use sand, so that's not going to do us any good. But here, so I click this, and now it's not searching by term. But if I did want to search by term, it would restrict that search to just stuff that has been highlighted, which is just one hit versus before where we had, I think, maybe five or six different results. But in this case, this is just highlighted. We're not searching for a specific term. We just want to see, hey, what was highlighted. And so if I click on it. Those are considered, but you still have to recognize that this is an inevitability. Right. With this one, it's going to audition whatever is highlighted. It'll play a little bit before the highlight, and then it'll play the entire highlight and a little bit after. And so we can click through and see what our highlights are. And same deal here. Okay, I don't want to see just this composition. I want to see everything. For whatever known reason, it always resets to only searching this composition. So hopefully they fix that, and it'll just save whatever you changed it to. But now we can see, okay, hey, these are everything I highlighted across all the projects. And so if I click on this one, I could see this highlight. It changed about. Now let's say you try to drag something from your desktop that Iconic does not yet know about. It'll say to you. And yeah, so we're able to pull that in here. And now what we could do with this is, okay, let's say I went through all this footage and I marked up all these highlights. Also, if you select whatever you select here, it'll automatically select that whole highlight. And then I can right click and say, okay, I want to duplicate this, just this highlight section and either move it to a new composition or move it to an existing composition I have. Maybe I have a composition running that is clips from NAB or clips from whatever this thing is. And so it'll just move that section there. And let's say I go to this composition and we can see here it dumped it at the end of this composition. This composition was already set up for social media sharing. So it's already vertical and it's got dynamic captions added to it. So it's reading the text from our transcript right here. Uh, and then we can just adjust this and make it full screen and frame it for how we want to post on social media. This is basically just an easy way to send 
send your highlight clip easily to another composition. That's one way to do it. The way I kind of actually tend to do it is I will just copy and paste. And so with Descript, you can have multiple windows open. So let's say this was my edit window where I'm kind of building out the project file. If I right click or click the triple dots, you could always open one of these other compositions in a new window. You could have two windows open and then as simple as copy and pasting between a Word document, you just hit command C or right click and copy it and then go to your other window and hit command V or just right click and paste it. And it's as simple as that. It'll automatically import the clips and the text. I'm speaking in terms of we are in the same project right now, but you could actually copy and paste text and clips from a composition in one project to a composition in another project, and it'll automatically import those video files from the one composition and bring them into the other composition, whatever is being used. So it's also a good way to tone down your project file size. If you have a project with like a lot of raw footage or like a lot of like archival stuff that you're kind of searching through, but your editing project, you want to have a little bit more toned down of just the stuff you're focused on. On. If you copy the clips out of that one project and paste it in the other project, it'll just bring whatever media you're using or you need. It's not going to bring everything over. So this is a couple of the ways that we use search to search across our projects, especially for kind of documentaries or archival projects, search across a lot of footage and also search for everything that we have highlighted marked up because that is of interest to us. And it's easier way to kind of navigate larger projects and find the clips that we're looking for, and then easily just kind of compile all of these clips from various different files into one composition which makes our editing a whole lot easier. And then we'll tend to use that as our first rough cut and export the uh, XML file and send it to Adobe Premiere to actually do the actual editing. But we've got a nice rough cut already built with either uh, temporary narration, which you can check out our overdub voiceover video for that. And for the exporting of how we build our projects and export it to Premiere, we've got another video separate about that one. So you can check that out for that workflow. But I hope you found this useful. I hope it kind of sparks some ideas of how to use search. I will say in the old version of Descript, they had a nicer sidebar that was a lot easier to navigate for search. I really do miss that sidebar. So I hope they kind of bring something like that back. As you saw, kind of having to reset the settings every time of do I want to search across the composition or the entire project is a bit of a pain. And it's also kind of buried here in these settings. So on my wish list of things like I hope they adjust and bring back and make this search side panel a lot more functional and useful. But anyways, I hope you found this video useful. And I I hope it helps you navigate and search your projects. If you've got any other questions or any kind of specific things about working inside the script, let me know in the comments below. I'll catch you in the next episode.